This video demonstrates how to use an Android phone with Near Field Communication Support, or NFC, to create a physical tag that you can bundle with a Bluetooth accessory which allows the user to pair, connect, and disconnect just by tapping their phone near the tag. In this example, we'll be using a Nexus 4 smartphone for the setup and testing process, though you can use any phone that includes NFC support. To begin, we first need to know what the MAC address of the target Bluetooth device is. We'll be demonstrating this with a BlueGiga WT32 audio module evaluation board, though the same process would apply to the WT32i as well. The easiest way to get this information is with a simple command within the IRAP environment. We'll use cool term here, but you can use any serial terminal to accomplish this. To access the IRAP environment on the WT32 evaluation board, first plug a mini USB cable and DB9 serial cable into the board, then connect those cables to your host computer where the serial terminal application is, and make sure the board is powered on. Once you have started your terminal application and opened the correct port, you should see the IRAP welcome banner displayed. If not, you can confirm that communication is working by pressing the reset button on the evaluation board. Finally, send set BT BDADDR to list the MAC address of the module. Now that we have the target MAC address, it's time to write this information into the NFC tag. Once you have a tag ready, such as this one from Confidex, open the Google Play Store and find the NFC Tag Writer app from NXP. This is what we'll use to write the Bluetooth device information into the NFC tag. Once the Tag Writer app is installed, open it and then tap the Create, Write, and Store entry in the list of actions. Next, tap the New entry in the Content Selection list, then scroll down to find and select the Bluetooth entry in the Create Content list. If you have already paired your phone with the target device, you can simply select it from the device list. Since we haven't done this, instead we'll tap the Create New Bluetooth entry. Now select the Bluetooth 2.1 option to instruct the tag to use current security methods for the pairing process. The Bluetooth 2.0 option is only used for older devices which require the deprecated fixed four-digit PIN code pairing mechanism. IRAP fully supports the latest Bluetooth security features, so the 2.1 option should always be used. Next, enter an optional device name, and then the Bluetooth MAC address that we obtained at the beginning of the process. For the device class value, choose the option that is closest to your target device. In our case, a WT32 module configured for audio streaming will use wearable headset. Finally, check the box to enable the Create Bluetooth Handover Select Message option and tap Next to continue. Since we're only writing one tag, the only option to enable on this screen is Confirm Overwrite to make sure nothing is accidentally lost. Once this box is checked, tap Next again to continue. We're now ready to write the Bluetooth device record to the tag. All you have to do now is tap the phone against the tag for a moment to begin the process. Since Confirm Overwrite was enabled, you'll have a chance to review the current tag content, if any, before continuing. Once you've verified that nothing important will be lost, tap the Click to Confirm Store button to finish writing the data and display a final summary. Tap Done to complete the process. Now the NFC tag is ready to use for pairing, connection, and disconnection. To test this, tap your phone against the tag. You should see a confirmation appear on the phone allowing you to pair with the Bluetooth device. Once you've paired, tapping the tag again will cause the phone to open a connection to the peripheral device, or if you're already paired and connected, tapping the tag will disconnect the device. If you still have CoolTerm open to your IRAP-enabled module, you can see this process occurring from the IRAP event output. Thank you for watching, and for additional information on BlueGiga's audio modules or other products, please go to bluegiga.com.